This one is a retelling of the Adam and Eve story, really, because obviously uh, we need to feminise that. So it's called Would You Adam and Eve It? Nope, that fake myth, clear mistake, is the freaking speaking snake telling tales in forked tongues, tempting a maiden to become undone, instigating the original sin, which by the way is surely stealing or rape, not forbidden fruit, as eating fruit is usually so good. So I will reframe the blame and shame in temptation's game. A serpent is grooming Eve's innocence, says don't eat this apple. Well you know the rebel within us wants to, and compliance isn't built on don'ts. Parents who say don't run get, get kids who go faster, whereas an ask to walk might work. Saying don't only courts disaster, it's no surprise it's not happy ever after. The serpent is a pusher, unpleasant, repulsively persuasive, manipulative of impatience and self-control. In reality, it's more likely a man would lose his soul. Us women defer to serve, we're bred for a service role. Men act entitled, their mastery unrivaled. Was it actually Adam who took what he wanted, hence Adam's apple? Testosterone's the hormone that tips people too far. The story bias against Eve is bizarre. It's just women hating bullshit from closed ranked Christian pulpits. Was the priest should be defrocked for picking quiet boy cherries. They're the real freaks, eating into peachy cheeks. And yet what has tragically fucked us are religions misogynistic structures. Fake justifications for patriarchy, monarchy, rampant inequality, those citing legitimacy with dodgy views on natural order, a hoarders of inherited power. I say, let's fight them. <laughs> <laughs>